I tell you what, this might actually be a first for me. I'm early for Talksy. So, Amy says I'm waffling on too much of these intros. So, I'm here at Talksy. It's 11.30, I'm early. Let's get picking. There you go, thank you. Not, not unpacked yet. Good God. It started. <laughs> hey, you'll have to ask them in there, mate. A very, very vintage Samsonite suitcase. In okay condition. Okay, but definitely worth um, exploring whether all the locks work and just double checking it over. You alright? Ah, uh, not so bad, thank you. Yeah. Done. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll come back round after I've been round a few times. Now I really don't know why I picked this set up. Not the greatest of value. I think I got took in by the way it looked. It looked all right, but I've got a set like this and it hasn't sold yet. But the dartboard definitely right on my street, and it's already sold. I've sold this for ten pound cash uh, to someone local to me. So yeah, just a perfect pickup uh, for a quick seller. I should have picked this up, not because I'm a dirty man but because these uh, old magazines do sell quite well and recently I sold the Sun page 3 calendars so I should have got this and it was gone when I went back. I've just got three things James and then I'll, I'll come back round. Darts board, cash thing and then... Uh, just fiver. For that one. I'll come back Brilliant. round. Sound. Yeah. Uh, Cheers, buddy. Depends what it is. Now I've never heard of this brand Morpheus, but the quality on it seemed really, really good. So it definitely intrigued me. Um, I, it just overall a nice quality bag. Hi. How much you got on bag, buddy? And how much is the bag? Oh, it's ten to make. Ten. Late help you. Five, probably. I'll, I'll do you seven, hasn't it? I'd be at five for that, thank you. No worries, cheers, buddy. How much is the mega box? Fiber. Can I give you that for the mega blocks? You said a fiver on that one, yeah. Lovely right, stuff. Thank, thank you. you very much for that. Very much blinded on this one. I got sucked in by the tin. Uh, never seen this one before with the mega block. Should have done more research while I was there. It's not complete. It's missing the dragon. So I've got it up for I think fifteen quid. I just got blindsided by that one. Five or each? No, five of the lot. Oh. Oh, lovely. Yeah. <laughs> so this wasn't a bad deal, just under a pound a club, but the sell-through rate, they were all Dunlops, they just don't sell very well, and the putter didn't match the putter head in the ping one and the cup putter head was absolutely shot so it just was not worth me picking it up. I think it was the master of pieces that uh, said that the old cameras were coming back in. I think under three megapixel people are liking the quality of them at the minute so I'm trying to look out for those. Um, and also th these ones were absolutely knackered to be honest. Everything on this store looked knackered. This one caught my eye though. It was a little all-in-one games console. It looked retro but it just definitely wasn't and had no value while I was checking it there. I'm not 
watch it every night. Oh, well, every night. I haven't released that many videos. Yeah, like, I've got to go and say hello. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I'm not popping a comp up for this because I just cannot get the thing to work so there's no value. Out on the light. Her pan. And what about the pan? Bill, what you got on this pan? It's busy. <laughs> Bill! How are you doing? You alright? What you got on Yeah, this? nice to meet you. I'll take two and a half quid on it, but it does want to go clean. Alright, sound. So I'm at 350 then, aren't I? Yeah. Wait a little. <laughs> there you go, thank you very much. Thank you. So, steady. It was steady. A lot of people uh, meet and greets, quite nice. I uh, met Kaz and Chloe, which was which was lovely. They've travelled quite far to come down here to talk, see on my recommendation. So yeah, not a bad pick at all. Nice few bits, went straight to Jay's because I knew we were here. Uh, didn't get much stuff, not much that was taking my fancy, but there were enough there. Got three nice things. Not the quantity again, but hopefully a nice little bit of profit from what I paid. Didn't, didn't spend too much, so not too bad at all. And I've actually gone back in because I needed to talk to James about something away, so I didn't take the camera in with me. Uh, but I ended up picking that Samsonite suitcase up because he gave it me. Uh, I showed him all the damage and said, I said, I'd normally, you know, I'd always pick these hard shells up, but it's damaged. And he said, oh, I'll just take it and I'll try and hoover the bits out that needs to be and glue it back together. So we'll see how we get on with that. And also I got the Morpheus grey bag that I, the guy wanted 10 quid for and then to seven. I went back and I said, look, I'm leaving now. Do you still, do you want to take a fiver? He's like, oh, go on then. So I picked that up as well. I'll put a put a comp here. So yeah, not too bad at all. Lovely to meet everyone. Uh, not just a nice picking day at talks. I'll be honest, I'm here in a total haze. Like I, I don't know what was wrong with me this morning, but I just did not want to get up. And I, just, I, I don't even know how I drove here. To be fair, I'm I'm like half asleep. But I'm here. I'm at old coach. It's the regular, and then I'm gonna go to Sunny. So yeah, I'll go. And, I'll go and try and wake up while I'm walking around. Come on. Let's get going. Let's get picking. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Right. I'm just going to put these here if that's all right. I'm going to try and find a plug to that light. <laughs> I'm sure you're in this one. Right, I'll go for them three. I give up on plug. Six on all of it. Right, okay. Lovely stuff, yeah, thank you very good. much. See you later. The man's finally back. You alright, Carl? Yeah, I'm alright, how are you? Yeah, good mate. Nice to see you. Yeah, you too. Try in. Try in. How much are our techniques? Set it 15 quid. What about the. You know what? <laughs> I've had it on the marketplace. 50 quid, somebody would have come and grab it. Yeah. 20 quid. Okay. We'll do a tenner on that if that's any good. Check it. Sound. See you in a bit, pal. Good morning. Good morning, John. You alright? You alright? Oh, very good. Oh, hey, I'm very good. Very good. Well, I want to see your shirt first. Can you share it? Nah, well. No. There's a cost, isn't there? There's a cost. <laughs> a double sausage sandwich. Is that what it's going to be? <laughs> Don't skip your secrets. That <laughs> would as well. It's a wheelchair for sale. Yeah. How much is it? No, it's alright. 40. 40. Want it? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking. I like about it, thinking. Get your money out, take it. <laughs> yeah, it's no good thinking, is it? No. How no. no, you think it might be done? <laughs> that is very true. Just want to quickly interrupt this here. It's, I've been in there an hour. I've, I've, I've seen enough. Uh, and I'm just coming away, going to Donny. But, no mention in a previous video that I weren't going to pass up on other wheelchairs. Now, 
one top tip and I totally agree with that scout is that you need to be checking all the codes on the wheelchair that was the same brand as the previous one I picked up but it was a lower end of the brand so they sell for around about 50 60 quid so with him wanting 40 there wasn't enough wiggle room in it for me so just check all your serial codes on there and also check the names fully when looking at them uh, because it makes quite a big difference on the resale value on those ones just a little tip for you there thanks for that scout 20 minute car journey the weather's changed it's all nice and sunny now First for me at Carbu, I looked at this because I thought it was to cover a horse and in a minute you'll see the stall holder did as well but it's actually to cover your legs around a motorbike now I thought you just meant to ride a motorbike but obviously you meant to keep your legs warm at the same time never knew that Can I look for this bag? This is for horse. Yeah, yeah. Turn there. For the bag. For these bits. This is for a. Uh, Hoover. Fiber. Then five. And three pounds. Did you do 15? 15? There's nothing in there, they're mine. Uh, yeah. just, just those. 15? Yeah. 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 I was definitely glad I got him down on price. Yeah, it was only by three quid, but that adds just a little bit of extra profit to it. And normally, he's relatively cheap. I've seen him at Fitzwilliam before, and he just comes, chucks these bags out, and um, hopes for the best. And he's usually a lot cheaper than that, so I don't know whether I caught him on a bad day. But still, some nice little bit of profit to be made, especially in the belt buckles, which I didn't know there were two in there, which was just a little bit of a bonus from when I unwrapped it. And I also didn't know that one of them was a Yamaha one. There's nothing really catching my eye apart from this baby carrier backpack thing. Once I checked out all the items, it just wasn't worth me picking it up for the sell-through rate. Again, this stall is normally at Fitzwilliam as well, and I usually stay away from it because I usually think that there's some quite pricey shoes on there. But they were having a bit of a clear out. Joe, Joe's Collector's Corner, let me know that they were selling stuff relatively cheap because they were getting quite a lot of new stock in. So it worth double checking things, but I am not a shoe guy and nothing really caught my eye. But it, it, it is a very interesting stall, and I'm sure for people who love shoes, they're mostly at Fitzwilliam on a Wednesday morning uh, when that reopens back up. Another Sunday, another slightly disappointing one if I'm honest. Uh, last week was kind of saved by the wheelchair. This week, I haven't had much to save it if I'm honest. I don't know whether I'm being too picky. I don't know whether I'm just not looking right and not finding the stuff, but I'm just not picking, uh, nothing's really grabbing me, you know what I mean? I, I've walked around this stadium twice, three times maybe, and nothing's really caught my eye properly that I really want to be asking about, what I want to be buying while I'm here. There's a hell of a lot of traders here and a hell of a lot of stuff that is already priced up quite high. It's quite, I'd say it's 60-70% traders, 30% car booters, so not your average what you normally get at Old Coats, but Old Coats is so bad at the minute because they just don't want to upgrade it they don't want to make it so it's not marshy uh, and it's just it seems freezing on that field compared to here where it's got a bit of shelter I've got some okay things i'm not i'm not raving home about them they, they're just standard 
the Selling Dan products. Uh, the only thing that I'm slightly excited about is the thing that he said was to cover a horse. It wasn't, it was to go on a bike. So I'll get that cleaned up and take a good look at it. That might be a good little one because anything accessorising a, a, a road bike, not a road bike, a motorbike, is normally quite good. Hope you enjoyed this video as always. Bring on the summer. Um, and yeah, if you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and over and out from the Selling Dan.